my identity is caught up in my faith. I'm a strong Christian. I've been an Anglican for my entire life. Dr. Paul Browning is Anglican royalty. His father was a lay preacher, his uncle an Anglican bishop, and his brother a missionary doctor. My faith in God is unwavering, but I couldn't bring myself to worship in an Anglican church anymore. A shower of bullets fired into three police officers in Brisbane in 2000 was the first sign of the scandal that would test that faith. After the gunman in the seemingly random attack, Nigel Perotti, took his own life, one of his friends revealed sexual abuse from a trusted counsellor started his spiral, triggering an inquiry that brought down then Governor-General and former Archbishop Dr Peter Hollingworth in 2003 due to his handling of the matter. It's really rocked me to the core over the years. I've always been part of the Anglican Church. It's been my tradition. Welcome to St Paul's School. Dr Browning took over at St Paul's Anglican School five years later in 2008. So what is an education worth having? Come and find out at St Paul's School. Seven years later, in 2015, the school was front and centre at Royal Commission hearings into child sexual abuse. And in total, we collated over two years 100,000 pieces of evidence. And then late in 2015, the uh, call came through that we would be a case study for the Royal Commission. This case study will focus on the institutional responses to the conduct of two offenders. The Commission heard of shocking abuse at St Paul's by teachers Gregory Robert Knight and counsellor Kevin Lynch, with more than 140 students abused between 1981 and 1997. Lynch sexually abused a significant number of boys during counselling sessions. It only stopped when Lynch took his own life while still working at St Paul's, the day after being charged by police. The Commission found then-Principal Gilbert Case told students who complained that they were liars and threatened punishment. And the stories were horrific, absolutely horrific. I've never read anything like it before in my life. Dr Hollingworth would finally apologise to victims. I'm extremely sorry that the church and I failed to protect you. It was way, way too late. And when he gave that apology in that courtroom, it wasn't accepted by anybody. Uh, understandably so. Sue West is a mother whose son was abused by Lynch in high school. He was in a, uh, grade seven at the time. He was a very uh, happy little boy up to then. It shattered her trust, but against expectations, Dr Browning restored it. Without Paul there, I don't think my grandson would be there. He just took on everybody and listened to everybody's worries. I mean, I don't know how the man dealt with it. The school seemed to be soaring after the scandal under Dr Browning's leadership. It took out Best Principal and Best School Awards and was even named one of the most innovative learning institutions in the world. It was just invigorating to see a school actually engaging with what, what the young people would need. Alan Hurd was a school council member at St Paul's, responsible for the school's day-to-day -day operations. Last year, when discussions began about renewing Dr Browning for five more years, it seemed a fait accompli. We put a recommendation in in September, and then six months later, they told us we are, not, we are not going to give Paul another contract. I was shocked, gobsmacked. The man who broke the news to Paul was the most senior Anglican, Archbishop-elect Jeremy Greaves. He says Paul wasn't following protocols, but won't say which one. Well, I think it was the, the increasing sense of, of risk uh, to our whole school system. Um, where you know, we take our responsibilities uh, pretty seriously in terms of the care for the students uh, who are in our schools. And, and that means 
um, having clear oversight into our schools in those sorts of spaces. The decision not to renew my contract in my mind is inexplicable. They haven't given me a good reason. Parents only found out last month and for weeks they've been protesting to get their principal back. They don't accept the reasons offered and they're upset the school council was sacked too. It just seems totally wrong to us as parents and all we're asking from the Anglican you know, Commission is Schools Commission is to please work with us. We need to understand. And I think I could sum up the feeling at the moment with just being really hurt, um, feeling quite disempowered, feeling like we've not been listened to. Documents unearthed by 7.30 show that from 2019 there was a significant conflict between Principal Browning and the church in which millions of dollars were at stake. It is a question of moral obligation. The first priority in any consideration of redress has to be those who were abused. They are being deceived. Big thinking is needed. Many hours have already been invested in exploring other ways. The church had pledged to fund six and a half million dollars in uninsured payments owed to survivors of abuse. Four years ago, it decided parents at the school would pay instead. Well, at the time, I, it really rocked me as a person and my identity as a Christian, as an Anglican, was really rocked. For my own sanity and my own spiritual nourishment, I couldn't even walk into an Anglican church. The burden of, of uh, dealing with the legacy of abuse um, in the church and more broadly is one uh, that sits heavily on all of us and, um, and will be shared in different ways in different places. That conflict continued over three years, leading up to Dr Browning's sacking. Given your strong opposition to that change in policy, did the church have six and a half million reasons to want you gone? I'm probably not going to respond to that, Connor. Yeah, I don't know. I can only speculate and let the evidence speak for itself. Oh, look, I, I certainly um, concede that there was a, a difference in opinion over that policy um, and um, uh, and so, yeah, and, and Paul and the council expressed uh, their unhappiness about that. Um, but, but that was quite separate to uh, the, um, the decision about Paul's contract. And can you tell us, can you be quite specific then about what the reasons were? Um, well, I think, as I said before, it is about that um, responsibility for governance across all our schools that the ASC has. Uh, and that increasing sense of risk where there wasn't uh, clear oversight uh, into the, the operations and governance of um, a particular school. It's my opinion. I think uh, the, the uh, Anglican Schools Commission was threatened, by, was threatened by Paul. In 2021, Dr Browning decided to go further in seeking justice for abuse victims. Upset that Gilbert Case, who oversaw the abuse, had never been prosecuted, he sent a dossier to police. Sadly, in 2021, the police said to me after an investigation, they told me that there wasn't enough uh, or public interest to arrest him or continue on with the case or enough police resources to do so. Are you aware that Dr Browning was continuing to push for police to investigate Gilbert Case? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not. Gilbert Case declined to comment, but denied knowledge of the offending at the Royal Commission. Hi, right, Gilbert Case. Can we ask you about your time at St Paul's? Sorry? I just wanted to ask you about your time at St Paul's. Uh, not today, thanks. W were you aware that pedophiles were operating while you were principal? As parents and staff fight for Dr Browning to be reinstated, he's still hoping he can return, despite the conflict that's left a once celebrated community reeling. I would love to be reinstated and offered a new contract. I want to keep serving God to the best of my ability at St Paul's School. There isn't a contract beyond uh, the 31st of December and, and because we agreed with Dr Browning that he would finish early, um, he's, uh, he has finished his time at St Paul's School.